Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Universe Sandbox 2. That's a bit too bright right there, I'm sorry. Anyway, where's Earth, by the way? I can't find it. Oh, it's right there. Alright, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be checking out Earth-like planets and some terraformed scenarios that I found on the workshop. So, community-powered content is pretty cool and we're going to be checking out what you guys have been doing. But of course, we know that humanity doesn't necessarily like to uh, look forward and plan ahead. So in order for us to probably terraform, let's say Mars, maybe Jupiter, maybe Saturn, I don't know. We're gonna have to have a catastrophe on Earth, you know? We're not gonna plan that ahead. I mean, Elon Musk is trying to do his own thing, but everyone's like, all right, I just wanna freaking post this picture on Instagram, dude. I just wanna watch this TikTok and laugh. Um, so it, it's gonna take a freaking big catastrophe, all right? for us to leave Earth, and that's what we're gonna do today. So let's start by destroying Earth, and then we're gonna check out these scenarios, right? We could try to reduce the density until it just dissipates. Let's try to increase the density. Can we turn Earth into a black hole? The best way to do that would be to increase the density, right? That's the best way to do this. <laughs> oh my god, it's so small now. <laughs> and it's cold. It's getting cold, what? Higher density make, makes things cold? Higher density makes things cold. Oh, it's not necessarily that it makes things cold. Maybe the water is turning into solids, right? Liquids are turning into solids because of the higher density, maybe higher atmospheric pressure or something like that. I think I remember watching an episode of Cosmos that said that there was a planet out there that had such a high pressure like ATM, that um, that water was solid, but not because of temperature, but rather because of the of the high pressure. Like all the northern hemispheres, basically covered in um, snow. Even Africa. Look at this. What the crap? That's cool. Let's keep increasing the density here a little bit. See what happens. Well, it seems like people are still alive. At least. Hold on. What's the temperature here? Look at that. That makes no sense. Oh, look at the ATM. Yeah, 100 ATMs. So that makes sense. So I was right. I was right. Of course I was. Of course, I, mean, <laughs> of course I was right. Imagine this. You walk outside. There's freaking snow everywhere. And it's not cold. <laughs> Wouldn't that be kind of weird? Just walking outside and everything is just covered in snow. You know, maybe there's a blizzard going on. And it's hot. It's just 15 degrees. How much is that in uh, Fahrenheit? Oh, we don't have those. Okay, whatever. <laughs> the atmospheric pressure here, the ATM is 7,000. Can we get over 9,000? Will we get over 9,000? Let's go, boys. Over 9,000 ATM. Come on. Yes, we did it. <laughs> that was easy. That was easy right there. So I can't actually remember the radius necessary to turn the earth into a black hole but i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter how much mass you have if you comprise that into a small radius super high density then at some point even you can turn into a black hole <laughs> hey that's racist all right i think that's it <laughs> oh look at that it's finally okay it's a black hole now oh, oh my god Holy crap, I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't mean to do that. All right. So that's the that's the end. That's it. Where is Earth? It's right here. Oh, you can see how things are just still like orbiting the Earth black hole. All right. So that's the end of the Earth. Let's check out some of these scenarios. Oh man, look at this. So here we have a terraformed Saturn with vegetation and atmosphere. What's the temperature? On this planet 15 degrees so it seems just perfect for us here the surface pressure is one atm perfect kisses fingers like an italian chef all right it's just a perfect atmosphere so the mass is 95 times the mass of earth and it even has cities look at this i wonder if they actually just copy pasted the lights from um the regular earth like there's a lot of ocean there a lot of islands, like tiny islands over here. 
Hmm, I wonder if we can check out the height map here. Let's take a look at the surface. Let's change that to elevation. Oh, all right, all right, all right. So there's a lot of tiny islands over here, like super um, low elevation areas, right? So I imagine a lot of these are going to be swamps and stuff like that. And then as you move towards the, um, I guess, is this the equator of Saturn? I don't know. You're going to have some mountains like this one is probably the biggest mountain on Saturn. I don't know if Saturn actually has mountains. Isn't it a gas giant? I think it's a gas giant. But if we were able to increase the density of it and do a lot of probably impossible things, you would have a gigantic mountain right here. I'm not sure if it has a magnetic field that would actually protect us from um, the sun's radiation. But it looks freaking cool and we would have a cool ass ring around us. Imagine how, can you imagine how that would actually look from the earth? Imagine looking up to the sky and just seeing an asteroid belt or not actually an asteroid belt, but just a ring, you know, like the rings of Saturn. That would be so freaking cool. I can actually add more rings now that I think about it. That's cool. Can I change the motion here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can actually do this. All right, there it is. It's rotating. Earth similarity, 46% similar. Life likelihood, it's still very unlikely <laughs> that there's life here. I don't know why, but it's 0.67%, so I don't think that's much. Or maybe, who knows, dude. In the grand scheme of things, maybe 0.67 is actually a lot. So as always, we're going to start messing with this thing. <laughs> And I wonder, what happens if you just add a... Let's add a moon here. What is the biggest moon here? Let's place Pluto. <laughs> We're gonna place Pluto right here. Oh man, it's... Is it that small, really? There it is. It's, it's Pluto orbiting Saturn. A terraformed Saturn, by the way. I wonder if it's gonna mess with the rings. My computer just can't handle this, dude. It's like... It's using all my computing power, and I'm trying to record on top of that, so... <laughs> It's really messing with the frames here, but I don't see any effects on the I don't see any effects on the rings or anything higher mass. Oh my god <laughs> Holy crap Saturn is being attacked imagine imagine being able to see this line of fire here Holy crap because the ring is like centering right around uh, the equator the equator of this planet, right? So imagine just being able to see the planet being bombarded by a barrage of just asteroids just hidden in a perfectly straight line. That would be freaking awesome, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at it. It's right there. I can even add more rings. Let's do that. Holy crap. I think these rings are actually adjusted to the new mass. So let's increase the mass a little bit more. Look at that. That is insane. <laughs> oh boy, I think it's better if we change the background here. Hold on. I think it's easier to visualize the uh, gravitational effects and waves of, um, of the planet if you have all of these asteroids because they, they start behaving like particles. It's easier to visualize all of the changes that you have. Oh my god. <laughs> I, think it's a, I think it's a gas giant now. <laughs> We just destroyed the terraformed Saturn. All right, so let's see what happens with Jupiter here. All right, so here we have a terraformed Jupiter with one ring. I see a lot of solid ground here. There's some um, some storms at the bottom. Yeah, it's there's a lot of mountains here, and the elevation is a lot. It's a lot higher than um, than Saturn. This is a continent right here. There's another one over here. One, two, three. We have four. And this is the big one, five. You could consider this like still one. Is that a freaking river? What the crap is this right here? Do you guys see that? And uh, I see a lot of storms down here at the bottom. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of like wind storms and tornadoes in, uh, in Jupiter, right? And since the planet is so big, I imagine it's just like gigantic storms like you don't want to be messing with that you don't want to be flying a plane 
<laughs> in this planet, all right? This, I don't know if this is actually simulated or maybe this is just a texture, but it seems like there's a storm right here and it's right in the middle of these two giant mountains or continents, right? So it seems like maybe the wind would come from this angle and this seems prone to just gigantic storms. I don't know, looks kind of fun. I kind of like imagining things like that. Like what would actually happen? How would the weather actually be there? So the surface gravity is 25, 25 meters per second square, which is, I think that's like three times. That's almost three times the surface gravity of Earth. Uh, so that's insane right there. The surface temperature is just fine, 15 degrees, but What's the... I wonder what's the... the pressure here. 1000 ATM? Yeah, we can't... we can't deal with that. <laughs> we can't deal with that. What's the... what's the mass? The mass is one Jupiter. So it's... it's retaining its... its size, right? <laughs> so what's the first thing that's gonna happen? Alright, so first you're gonna be attacked. Oh, look at that! We have the... We have the surface back. So first you're gonna be attacked by the rings. That makes sense. And then they're just gonna merge with each other. Oh boy, no, they're just gonna crash into each other. It seems like this one's gonna survive. <laughs> oh my god. What's happening with the rings? Yeah, they just disappeared. And we have a gigantic fragment here, so I imagine everything, all this stuff is just gonna start orbiting the new Jupiter. And then it's gonna double in size, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, we have one last scenario here to check out. All right, so we have another scenario right here. And this one's kind of weird, so I don't know <laughs> uh, if this is actually possible, but this right here, it's actually, this is actually a black hole, all right? This is a terraformed black hole. I'm gonna show you guys this scenario right here if you guys wanna check it out. It's called terraformed black hole with vegetation and green atmosphere. So it's this one right here. It has the mass of 71 moons. Let's see, let's check this out in Earth terms. All right. I don't know how, what defines this as a black hole. What's the density? The density doesn't even seem that high. So I don't know why would you see that this is an actual black hole. The temperature is normal. The atmosphere mass, it's like normal. So I don't know. Hold on. Maybe I need to hit play. Let's hit play. All right, so what happens if I, if this is a black hole, hold on, how can we test the power of this? This is the radius of one single black hole, the size of one sun. So I don't think, hmm, that's kind of weird though. Let's try this again. I mean, it is labeled terraformed black hole with vegetation. Holy crap. I think I've been lied to. <laughs> I think we have been lied to. This is not an actual black hole. Look at the density, but we can totally turn it into a black hole. Let's just increase this, the speed here for a second. Yeah, it's gonna be completely destroyed. There you go, that's fine. So what we could do, let's try to visualize the, the gravitational pull of this thing. The best way to do that is with the asteroids, actually. So let's add a belt here. And I think the one I like, I don't know why this is branded as a black hole, but we're going to turn it into a black hole, all right? We can totally do that. So the way we do this is remove that and we're going to we're going to lock the mass here and change the density. Is it a black hole yet? Not yet. Oh my god. I don't know. It seems like because we still have the same mass it's not really going to change the gravitational pull, right? If we change the mass, then it's going to change. So even if we have a black hole right there, it's not really going to change anything because it's going to be the same mass and it's going to have the same gravity as Earth, maybe? Just let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong. I, I'm certainly not qualified to be making these statements. <laughs> I just want to see if I can turn this into a black hole. That's all I want to do. You know, we were clickbaited. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that clickbait into reality. 
by turning this into a black hole. I'm sure it's possible because we just did it before. Oh, there it is. It is a black hole. We did it. <laughs> He's done it. All right, this definitely crashed my game right here. <laughs> Hold on. All right, at least this looks kind of cool. Anyway, boys, I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>